Hey YouTube, this is our continuing coverage of Halloween Horror Nights 24 in Orlando, Florida. We went two nights and it did take us both nights. We went opening night, and the, which is the 19th and the 20th. And this video, we're talking about Roanoke Cannibal Colony, the house. It's kind of a little bit zombie-ish, but I guess, you know, people eating people. I don't know. I, I guess they're yeah. all related. Yeah. So what all did right. you like about it? Well, um, <clears throat> it is a, a historically based house. Um, Roanoke is an actual city in Virginia, um, a little more out west, and it was one of the original colonies when, you know, everybody landed in the United States, or what became the United States. Mm -hmm. um, it did actually uh, end up not working as a colony. It disappeared for some reason, and mm -hmm. uh, Universal decided to think that, well, everybody ran out of supplies and uh, resorted to eating other people to live. Like this dude here. <laughs> um, it's a very, very neat concept. Um, I, a lot of the uh, uh, sets in, in the house are very neat. Like you end up going through a cornfield. Uh, you end up going through a village. Um, you ready for heavy spoilers for this house? Heavy spoilers. Okay. Heavy spoilers. If you haven't gone yet and you're planning on it, uh, if you don't want to get spoiled, you skipped to the end or something, I don't know. It's location F. The last room is, is really incredible. You go through all these different scenes of, mm. you know, people looking like this guy with, with blood all over them. and um, That's why I said it's a little zombie-like. Yeah. Uh, you, you see people, like, like just digging into, like, a, a body. Um, there's, a, there's another room where, where people are, like, being cooked, and then they wake up, and they're like, ah! Um, yeah. Uh, and then the last room is, is really incredible. You got this guy up on this bridge uh, trying to give a sermon about some holy feast. I, I wish I could have sat in there and watched for a few minutes. I couldn't really catch it. But uh, something about an unholy feast and, and there's a stilt walker, I, I believe meant to be like a Native American in war paint, um, popping out at people. And um, just, just a lot of things like that. It's actually a, a really neat house. Uh, check it out if, if you can. Um, yeah, that's that's what I got to say. All right. So uh, I hope you liked this video. And um, I want to mention that I've rented some equipment from LensProToGo.com again this year. Last year I rented a video cam, I mean uh, an SLR, the 70D. I'm using that right now. I bought one. And this year I bought, uh, I rented another piece of equipment. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, my channel isn't big enough for me to give you a discount code. Um, I didn't get anything for free. But I just wanted to mention it because they're a really cool company. So if you're looking to if you're looking to rent some gear, some video gear, some lighting gear, some audio gear, <laughs> check out Lens Pro to Go. And also, thank you for checking out this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, uh, please do. And if you like this video, please share. And if you have the means to go to Halloween Horror Nights, definitely go. It's yeah. a really cool thing. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people work a lot of hours. To put this together and uh, you know if you can give them a little bit of money thanks